Hey, uh, I'm teaching online in the fall. If you're a teacher, I hope you are as well. Um, and I'm using a combination of Flipgrid and also uh, OBS Studio. I'm going to be streaming some things live through YouTube Live probably. So uh, one of the things that I thought of is that it seems to make sense to be able to have like a countdown to when class starts or even a countdown to um, the end of a break, something like that. So um, that there isn't a way built into OBS Studio, but of course you can you can do all sorts of things in UB, OBS Studio. Uh, I came up with a solution that I think is simple and elegant, but is maybe a little bit technical. If you're uh, computer minded, then this will be easier for you. If you're uh, struggling with technology, you might need some help. Um, but I'll explain the system um, and then. And first I'll show it in action, then I'll explain how you get it in place. Um, I think mostly I'm going to show you how it works on a Mac because that's what I have in front of me, but I can give you advice for how to get it working in Windows as well. So I'll start uh, this command here in the Mac OS terminal, countdown.sh with the number of seconds and then a file name. And when I hit enter, you can see that the countdown starts in OBS Studio. Really simple, really low resources. If you have a, a crappy computer like I do, uh, it won't take a lot of um, CPU power, which is sort of precious when you're trying to stream. So um, when it's done, you'll see when it gets down to the end, it just stays at zero. The command ends. You can just leave this terminal window open, and there's really no impact on your computer. So that's the whole system. I'll show you how I got there uh, right now. So first I'll set up everything in OBS Studio. If I want that moving background, I can just choose to add a media source and uh, choose a video file. Okay, I don't know what happened there. Uh, so um, I'm going to choose a file that's basically a looping video. So I'll check loop here. And I'll also include a link to the person who created this uh, animation in the description. I'll move that source below so you can still see me. I'm not sure why you need to see me, but that's how you do that. And then um, I need to add a couple more things. One is I had some text in there that said uh, class begins. And so um, I'll choose a font there. I'll make it big-ish. Hit OK. And just type in class begins in and then hit OK. And so I'll just move this over here. And the last thing, of course, is to get the timer. So I'll add one more text source. And uh, this one I'll call timer text. And for this, um, let me choose a different font. And a yeah, bigger size. So here we go. And instead of typing some text, I'm going to choose read from file. And what I'll do is I'll choose this file that I have here called timer.txt. And I'll show you how, I, how you can get that file in a second. Uh, I'll hit OK and just move this into place. And basically, uh, nothing's happening. All that, can, that file contains, let's see if I have that file. So all that file contains, if I look in uh, Mac OS and just hit the space bar, it'll show me what's in a file. So there's the file, it's 0000. zero, zero, zero. And uh, what I want to do is have that file update with a new time every second, and it'll be reflected in OBS Studio. So the way that I do that is to uh, start the spotlight search in Mac OS and just type terminal. So built into Mac OS, you have this kind of Unix terminal where you can type Unix commands. And um, you know one of those commands that it could be this script that I wrote, and I'll show you how to download that and get it to work. So the first thing is, uh, if you want to download it, you can go to uh, this URL, which I'll include in the description. I have several scripts here, but this one is the one. It's called countdown.sh, and that's it. That's the contents of the script. Most of it is just comments, and you know that they're not actually doing any work. So it's very simple. And one of, one of the things that it tells you is how to use it. So you type the name of the script, the number of seconds for the countdown, and then a file name that's going to contain the, the countdown. And uh, it, it warns you that there's no error checking here. It's just a couple lines. It will clobber that file. So don't put any other file name there that you don't want to get wiped out, of course. And then uh, it does tell you that there are a couple snags here. One is if you're on Mac OS, you can't use this unless you uh, install this GDate 
um, command which it uses so to do that you can use uh, homebrew which is a way of installing software on your Mac and then you would just type this command in the terminal window after that point you'll be all set to run this now if you're on Windows uh, you don't have a terminal like you do in Mac OS that can give you access to Unix commands but you can install Unix on Windows and this is great I mean if you have Windows you really should just install this just to have that access if you needed it and so this is the link to um, the Microsoft web page that tells you how to install Ubuntu on Windows so once you get that you don't need to do anything else you'll just open a command window and run it just like I'm going to show you now so what you need to do is once you download the file either by clicking download zip here or you can click raw and it will just give you kind of the contents of the script you can right click and hit save as and uh, either way you want to make sure it's named countdown.sh and then um, once you've got that I put it in my own folder called countdown timer uh, you know there's a minimal number of Unix commands that you that wouldn't hurt to know if you type CD that changes to your home directory uh, LS tells you what's in your directory and CD again can also change to a directory so I have a file in my home directory a, a directory within my home directory called countdown timer so there I'm changing into that if I type LS it shows me everything that's in there you can see it's exactly the same information that it's showing here so that's what the terminal window does for you in Mac OS it kind of gives you a different way of accessing the same information you get from the, the graphical interface and so right here we can uh, do two things once we've downloaded the file we have to do this one time and never again uh, we would type chmod plus x countdown.sh and what this is doing is making it known to the uh, computer that this is actually a script that we want to run so after that point you never have to do that again and now we can just run it so I'll type dot slash countdown dot sh um, the number of seconds so 40 seconds and then timer dot text which is the file that contains um, just zero right now but will contain that number so I'll hit enter and you'll see that it gets reflected here in OBS studio when it gets to the end it'll just leave zero 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 in the file and uh, this will stop it's very low resources this is not going to cause a problem for your computer's performance when it's done it'll stop you don't have to worry about it so as long as you know 15 minutes before your class or whatever you run this command uh, and have this streaming already then you're ready to go once it gets down to zero you can change to whatever scene um, you want to get your class started so I'll just wait until it shows you um, it getting down to zero three two one and then it goes to zero and you can see here the command has finished it just goes back to the prompt so if you've never seen the terminal app before if you've never typed a command on your computer before this will be scary but uh, you can see once it's once you've got it set up it's not difficult you open the command the terminal window type this command and in OBS studio it'll show you this uh, countdown um, the good thing is you can just reuse it right like let's say we're taking a break now you can switch back to this scene that has all this information and you can say well it's a 15 minute break so the only the only tricky thing is I didn't really I wanted to make this as simple as possible so there's, you can't type in minutes here but uh, I, I tried to make this as, as dumb as possible so whatever you can say we're gonna be uh, having a break for 400 seconds and so there you go it's six six minutes and 36 seconds um, I think that's probably it uh, again I'll post the link to the uh, video here I'll post the link to uh, the github page that has the the um, script and that's it good luck